South Carolina Congressman Thray Goody has turned into the primary prominent open to scrutinize the solitary wolf story being pushed by prevailing press, announcing that he thinks that it's extremely hard to trust that a solitary shooter was in charge of the fear on Sunday night. Showing up on Fox News on Monday, Goody disclosed to Martha McCallum that it's truly difficult to comprehend a slaughter on this scale. He likewise said that he thinks that it's hard to trust that a solitary shooter could have completed the assault alone and undetected. It was an extraordinary level of intention that you don't typically observe, and it is hard to trust that a solitary individual could have done this without location, Gowley said. He included that a ton of wrongdoing is avoided in light of the fact that a non-law requirement officer says something and that he accepts there is a considerable measure of data we haven't been told. I believe we will discover somebody en route was suspicious and they ought to have transformed that doubt into a telephone call to law authorization. It's an amazing measure of deliberation to not go distinguished," Goody included. There is currently a heap of confirmation, comprising of recordings, police sound, and onlooker accounts from numerous individuals demonstrating this was a coordinated, coordinated assault by various schemers, and the predominant press is endeavoring to cover it up. Stephen Paddock did not act alone. Video film gave to your newswire by Las Vegas occupants have demonstrated indisputably that there was a moment shooter working from inside the Mandalay Bay Resort. Gag fire is obviously observed from the fourth floor, much lower than the 32nd story where Paddock worked from. Enclosures adjacent neighbor in the inn, Australian Brian Hodges, additionally affirmed the nearness of different shooters in the assault revealing to Australia's Courier-Mail daily paper, there were various individuals dead and numerous shooters. Numerous Las Vegas gambling club staff have likewise offered clues indicating the presence of various shooters and backstabbers engaged with the Las Vegas assault. As per Nadia Gisle, there was gunfire at the Paris Casino. I work there and I don't comprehend why they are not saying reality, she said. Related. Bellagio Hotel guests and staff confirm multiple shooters. Cameron Espino, who was in the Miracle Mile shops, additionally requested to know why the media won't give an account of occurrences at different inns, and revealed scene two shooter. Why is the predominant press endeavoring to compel a false story on general society? The appropriate response is straightforward. The corporate media, controlled by a little, tip top theocracy, is working for the New World Order endeavoring to delude general society into trusting their foes are their companions, and their companions are their adversaries. It sometimes falls short for the prevailing press motivation to have Stephen Paddock working as a major aspect of stupendous political connivance. The media is currently concealing this reality so they can keep pushing the New World Order's wiped out and wound motivation. There is a dynamic battle to sow division and make turmoil in the United States. Sorted out gatherings are taking a shot at benefit of worldwide associations with the most evil of objectives. We have to wake up and quit thinking everything bolstered us by the prevailing press. They have demonstrated themselves totally traded off and inconsistent. Keep your eyes open. Question everything.